Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Dragon Ball Super episode 116. And right off the bat, I have to say, from the previews and the spoilers and whatnot, I, I've and and just kind of realizing ahead of time as to what as as to what the last like okay, I'll brain fart there for a second. Let me start over. So like like I said, honestly, when I when I saw this episode, when I realized what this episode was going to be about, I honestly went in prepared to hate this episode, because after last week's review, I suddenly realized, what? It, wait, if he's ultra in, if Goku has attained ultra instinct again, then that means if Kefla actually ends up putting up a fight against Goku, then this would be a total bullshit fight. And here's the thing about it. Well, there were definitely iffy things about the fight, Toei once again kinda did exploit a very, in, a very a loophole about this fight, which is, well, yes, it did last the entire episode. Well, the fight between Kefla and Goku did last the entire episode. The entire fight as a whole was Goku basically was just Goku basically dodging every single thing that Kefla threw at him. So. It is still, I guess, kind of an iffy thing about uh, pretty much about why, pretty much about why, pretty much about why, pretty much this uh, this whole entire episode had to last that long, had to last, had, all the fight had to last the entire episode, I guess. But I mean, but as a whole, like I think, I think it is kind of one of those things where it is somewhat of an interesting loophole that 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 that. that, that a little interesting loophole that they managed to exploit. Like half the time, like half half the time with the whole process of what Toei does was with these Dragon Ball Super fights. I think I, I think I think there are all these like I imagine there are all these guys that, that are sitting around that are sitting around or around or, or that are sitting around, around saying, "Look, we can do this. We can do this," and and all of it is basically is is, is basically all, all 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 the all 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 the things that, that we would consider bullshit. Looking at it. But th then there is that one genius out there who says, "Look, all of this is bullshit. So here's here here here's here's kind of the loophole we, we can use to exploit it." So yeah, it's I, I imagine that there are all these kind of like execs and execs and directors and producers and writers and whatnot who are who are just sitting around and, and pondering as 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 to how they can make scenarios like this work. And and for what they did, what they managed, I suppose that, that they did okay with it. To be honest with you, it isn't perfect, but it. it it works kind of thing so yeah now having said that what i am somewhat stuck on how i feel about how I, how, now having said that what i having said that i am somewhat stuck on how i feel with what we uh, with Weiss's explanation about how goku still has yet to control the offensive capabilities of ultra instinct i mean i guess in a way it makes sense when you look at the core of what ultra instinct as a technique is and how it was explained in this episode but on the other hand he was basically just tossing he was, to he was tossing Kefla around like a volleyball and you're telling me all those hits did very little really I mean it, it just seems a little odd that I it just seems a little odd that he was doing all that and, and nothing was and nothing was, was really being nothing was really Done, or, or but no, only very little damage is being done. So, but I, I, I guess that is kind. But I guess in a way you could say that is kind of playing into the fact that that that, that, that even though Goku has achieved a, a definitely a, a better understanding of Ultra Instinct, I guess we could argue that he is still learning how to control it. But and 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 with the way and with and with Juden's reaction there, I think. And with Jun's reaction and how the Pride Troopers explained it, I think it is kind of one of those things where I don't. I think I think the only time we're, we're probably going to see Jiren, we're going to see Jiren versus Goku again, is 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 when Jiren himself probably thinks that okay, th this man is strong enough in order in order to go toe to toe with me. Like it seems that that Jiren right now, like ever since our first fight, Jiren has been kind of he's almost been kind of waiting patiently in 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 order for Goku in order to build up his strength. So. Strength, because I think Jiren realized that the, that the first time they fought, that this man has the potential in order to go toe to toe with me. So I, th I, th I think I think almost in a way, what, what Jiren wants is the same thing Goku wants. Is, is that he's thinking like Goku, in which he they, they wants he wants a proper fight with Goku again. So I imagine so. I imagine that I imagine we probably won't be getting the. 
I think the management group are probably going to have to wait just a little bit longer for, for the next fight. Um, but having said that, um, but d d despite the despite the little issue with me, I, one thing I do really like in this episode is that we do kind of get a throwback to the resurrection resurre FR of Goku and Vegeta training with Whis, and how it connected, and how 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 Whis's words in the past and even now during this tournament. All of, all of Weiss's knowledge of what he imparted to Goku and Vegeta during their training, it kind of, it pretty much this is the Ultra Instinct is basically the ultimate culmination of of of, of, of what of pretty much what, what Weiss was trying to what Weiss, what Weiss was trying to teach Goku and Vegeta. So, in a way, it's one of those things where yeah, even though you we, we could still see the even though for all intents and purposes, uh, the Resurrection F arc is pretty much just a rehash of the films. It, in a way, in a weird, in a weird way, it still did kind of have its purpose in the grand scheme of the plot. At least, in, at least in terms of, in terms, in terms of Goku and, and Vegeta's, at least in terms of Goku and Vegeta's training with Whis. Anyway, everything else is, of course, a lot more of a, a lot more your standard rehash. But it, it was definitely the training bit. I think that that definitely served a lot more of a purpose in terms of what's going on now. So yeah, and um, like the, the other major thing is I, I, pretty much. Is pretty much Goku. Is pretty much Go Go Goku managed to finish the fight n n n at the end of the episode with with Keflan, and he basically used his Kamehameha, which, which basically broke the earrings, and uh, which basically broke the earrings and, and returned returned Kefla to and returned Kefla and which knocked Kefla out of the ring and returned Kefla to, to in, or, in order to two separate beings of Kef of Kalifla and, and Kale again, which which does make me wonder about that one, which is which is if. Is is if 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 Kefla wasn't defeated that way, if if Toy really was planning on keeping keeping them combined, because if I mean it is just a theory, of course, but it really makes me wonder if they if Toy is really planning on keeping them together. If 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 by some weird ass miracle, if some if by some bullshit miracle, go uh, go go. go if by some weird ass miracle, if some bullshit miracle, Goku himself didn't even manage to defeat Kefla, but I wonder, like, uh, yeah, I wonder if, I wonder, yeah, it does make me wonder. It is weird to say, but I wonder if Toy was planning on keeping, of keeping Kefla as one person and not really separating them. I don't know, like, who, who knows? Because if they were, then that would have been just like total, just just throwing out what 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 they already said in the in the future Trunks arc, but whatever. But it, 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 at least it, at least they at least they exploited I guess another loophole there of having them well basically of having Goku use Kamehameha which is powerful enough to in order to break the Patara earrings and, and and separate the two so yeah of course the downside being is that Kalen Kalen is that Kalen Kalifla they got eliminated pretty much and yeah but uh, yeah but yeah and. Like I'm not gonna lie, with Kalen with with Kalen Kalifla eliminated now, I'm really fucking worried for Universe Six after this episode. Cause with only those Namekians left, it almost seems like Universe Six may be on the maybe the next Universe on the chopping block. And as I as I said, and as sad as it is, like the the only way I can see Universe Six surviving at this point. Is if the fight between them, Piccolo and Gohan, stays where it is as a sort of filler fight, and the fight just kind of lasts until the clock runs down to zero? Like I, I know a lot of us want to see Goku or want to see Gohan and, and and Piccolo actually have their moment, but the sad thing is, to be honest with you, if we actually want, the sad thing here is if we actually want, if we actually want, if we want Universe Six to actually survive. One universe to actually, actually, actually survive through this tournament, it may just have to stay a filler fight, guys. Unfortunately, that's what it looks like we're headed for. Yeah, but um, but yeah. Other than that, like Vegeta. Other than that, uh, the only thing to mention is Vegeta resolve after seeing Goku fight. Vegeta resolves to to gain Ultra Instinct himself and I've heard some things, so I don't want to make too many suspicious assumptions yet, but it will be interesting to see how Vegeta managed to obtain a power like a power that took Goku getting blasted by his own spirit bombs to achieve. I 
I am curious to see how the execution of that and as a whole is going to be, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, or follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Death Knight of... Uh, so, yeah, overall... Death Knight of Anime? Uh, yeah, but overall, like, yeah, the episode... It was one of those episodes that, uh, that, that was, that was good. It was very good. It, uh, it, it was, it was better, it was better than I expected, especially with, with, with pretty much all, 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 all the worry I had deep inside me of how this was going to be handled, but, yeah, for, for, for what it was, it was, it was good enough, overall, I think. A pretty, a pretty decent episode, to say the least, for, for what, for what Tommy managed to do with this. But, uh, yep, that's all I have for this review, guys. Death Night of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.